Oh God, it's gone. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions, as many as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. 
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Illinois' top-ranked orthopedic and spine practice, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, is now in Joliet. See a world-class specialist close to home. To be your best, see the best. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede. We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. 
Plus, we do pregame and postgame interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the postgame show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. Well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, at 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3, three to three. the power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. Deal for me? A deal for everyone! Attention, growth minded contractors! Are your appointment cancellation rates increasing and your margins decreasing? 
they don't have to. We have the solution to help you turn those numbers around and grow your business, regardless of the economy. Engage clients before appointments, decrease last minute cancellations, and increase keep rates with our easy to use virtual home designer tool. Clients will be actively involved by uploading their house pictures that personalize the design process. Your clients can change the design of their house and upgrade the parts they want with our product catalog. Clients can download the design report, accelerating the process and closing the deal quickly. Impress your clients and stand apart from the competition while demonstrating your skills with Richard's Building Supply Virtual Home Design Center. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so... I think that's where God is going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon. O'Connor and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3, three to three. the power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. 
For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event or stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. I'm Grant Harrison here with Sports Broadcast Solutions, the pregame show. Again, brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions, sports broadcasting for everyone. I'm here with Brianna Rodriguez. Brianna, you're facing Green Bay Glory today. How are you feeling? Um, I think we're all really excited. There were It was a pretty good game last time we played them, but we're obviously more prepared after getting a tough loss, so we want to get that win. You got the win last time, obviously. Is this game any different to you? Uh, no, we still got the same goal to get the dub, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Good to hear. So you played at Pitt, and you played the 4-3 at the professional level? Um, it is a little bit faster, I would say, but it, it's not much difference. You still try to keep the ball. 
Think you got it today? Uh, well, of course we do. <laughs> Good to hear. I'm Grant Harrison. The pregame show, again, brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions, broadcast network for everyone. Game time, coming your way shortly. Illinois' top-ranked orthopedic and spine practice, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, is now in Joliet. See a world-class specialist close to home. To be your best, see the best. runs through you. Become your own hero. Light reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! 
We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. Well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2-on-0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so... I think that's where God is going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight, that time, finally a goal for the Stampede. We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. Well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, 
We also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Illinois' top-ranked orthopedic and spine practice, Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, is now in Joliet. See a world-class specialist close to home. To be your best, see the best. When you're done with the lamps, just give it back to me, okay? Thank you. Check your video capture, make sure that it's all good. Uh, no, because we were supposed to do the intro. Yeah, I'm glad I checked that. I'm glad I checked that. Because we were supposed to do the intro when they walked when they walked out going this way. There you go. Yeah. Alright. We're good. Have a good game, guys. Should be like in Smash and Stumble, say the view. Uh, this is a really high stakes job. I typically just sell drinks. You're selling the camera in this case. You're so basically, no pressure, but everybody will know when you've made a mistake. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because Austin, because Austin's, <laughs> because Nate wanted to get paid. He thought he could do without getting paid, but then he changed his mind. Can't really blame him. <laughs> <laughs>
He said he had a family emergency, which I highly doubt, because he didn't text me until 9.30 this morning. Please rise for the national anthem. soccer fans welcome to a beautiful day in beautiful chicago illinois for a b e a beautiful matchup it's chicago city sc versus the green bay glory i'm your host grant harrison joined up here by my good friend and pal rafael gonzalez rafael how are we feeling today about this matchup we're feeling good about today's matchup. This is the second time that this year these two teams face off against one another. Uh, in the previous fixture between these two, Chicago City were victorious by a score of 2-1 with goals by Exeter Pineda and Lucia Spence. And overall, this is a big game. It's a big game for both teams. Absolutely with Chicago City with four wins, a loss, and a draw, while Green Bay Glory come into the day after their first six matches with three wins and three losses to their name. Number 31, Miles Well, Stewart. as you mentioned there, it's just been a fantastic Annie season for Chicago for, so far. Unfortunately, a previous loss there by and Minnesota Aurora, and what a Gore, difficult Chicago loss that was. You were there at that game, Rafael. What did you see in that matchup? So looking at it from the previous game you mentioned, they lost obviously 3-1 to Minnesota. And the biggest issue they had was that they were just outclassed on the pitch, both offensively and defensively. And just, I mean, if you look at Minnesota Aurora this year as a whole, they've been one of the best teams in the entire USLW this year but tonight it's a huge game for them to make a statement and sort of rebound after that defeat because we're after nine minutes tonight we're gonna learn a lot more about this team thanks to the large part of their loss against Minnesota how will they rebound you talk about the rebound let's talk about the readjustments before this game Green Bay Glory said they were gonna run the 4-5-1 but now, in their formation card, they presented us with a 4-3-3. I mean, do you think they're going with the 4-5-1 that they've been going with all year? Or do you think they're going with the 4-3-3 against Chicago's 4-3-3? Well, for Green Bay, I mean, they've only won one of the last four games. So at some point, 
change is necessary. And for them today, they are, I believe, I think they're going to run the 4-3-3. Both teams, in fact, will run the 4-3-3. And there's a lot of strengths and disadvantages in running that formation with the 4-3-3. Obviously, 4-3-3 is most commonly used as attacking formation, not only here in the semi-professional level, but all professional football. And there's a lot of weaknesses to it as well as information, which we'll get more about that throughout the broadcast. Of course. Thank you for that beautiful insight, Raphael. And as we get started to go here, we talk about that attacking formation. Minnesota Aurora, what a beautiful attack they had. They left that lone striker up front, put all their faith in her, and just absolutely dominated against Molly Vapinski in goal and the entirety of Chicago City. It, just an absolute pummeling. Do you think they can rebound here against Green Bay? I think so today. I mean, for Green Bay, obviously, it's a big game for them, but it's even a bigger game for us in order to keep pace with Minnesota and overall just in the bigger picture of trying to make the playoffs this year. And the issues that Chicago City had against Minnesota is not going to be the same today against Green Bay, a Green Bay team that comes in, obviously, uh, lacking momentum. Their two out of their three wins this year came single-handedly only against Bavarian United this year. And we'll be interesting to see how both teams sort of stack up here, particularly in the early going. Green Bay 3-3 three and three on this year. They need this win today. It, 500 is a tough place to be, Rafael. So to get above 500, obviously, a draw, it, it doesn't do you emotionally as well as a victory. And to beat Chicago City after previously falling to them would be a monumental moment in this season for Green Bay. However, Chicago City, they need this win just as bad. Those points are crucial this time of the year, don't you think, Rafael? It certainly is, especially because we're already at the halfway point of the season. Every game now matters more and more as we close out the season in a month or so. So every point is going to count from here on out. Every single shot, every single mistake is going to come down to those last few minor details. It's going to determine whether or not you're going to be in the playoffs this year or not. And as we get started, there's the whistle, there's the day, the match is underway. And Green Bay will take possession here to start us off as they play it around the backfield, interrupted quickly there with a dominant attack by Sophie Jamie. Ball goes into touch. And Green Bay will take back over with a throw in there, an ambitious move to spread the ball that far, to spread the field that far. And Chicago City takes over very quickly after. A couple battles there between Chicago and Green Bay. Green Bay looking for something, just not there. All around midfield. Chicago City pushing back the attack of Green Bay as they find room on the right-hand side. Attempting to set something up, broken up there. I believe that was by Brianna Rodriguez. It's kind of interesting to see, though, as the game progresses early on here, who sort of establishes possession and control. We talked about the 4-3-3, a very high attacking formation. And we're going to see, I think, a lot of chances from both teams today, but it's going to come down to which team structurally from a formation standpoint, is going to be a lot more sound. Emma Phillips looking to be the concrete today in the back line of Chicago. A deep four back there, and what an experienced four players they have on defense. This could help them out very much today against Green Bay, as you see the previous two attacks have just fallen short. You mentioned penalty area. You mentioned about Emma Phillips, also Abigail Roy. You also have Fernando Soto at right back and at left back as well, Lexi Diaz. Lexi Diaz, what a season she has had. Uh, honestly, it's a star-studded cast for Chicago. A full team of players who can step up in any role and have a great game. My player today to watch for Chicago, number 10, Sophie Jamie. Around 280 minutes played on the season, four games played, and five goals. What a productive forward. She has been by far and away the best attacker this, this entire Chicago team has, and her season was highlighted in the second game of the season against Racine Kenosha, in which she scored a hat trick in that game in their 7 nothing thrashing of Racine Kenosha. Hat trick always helps the stat line, and more than the stat line, it helps the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Now attack here by Chicago, broken up a little, but still maintained. 
as this one's booted away. And what a boot it is as Chicago has to recollect all of their thoughts and find something as the ball trickles into touch. Throw in here for Chicago. Some room on the left hand side. Look at her go, folks. Passes it up, gets it to her right. Chicago with a beautiful setup here. There's Jamie with it. And a rough tackle there, but a clean one. Chicago still relentlessly attacking Green Bay. And the beautiful midfield cross just broken up there in the box. Cristiani has Jeske playing great defense today. So that was the first time today for Chicago City. They had a real attack going in the final third. It'd be interesting to see how particularly how both teams are going to continue going forward, particularly down the wings. Boot it up. Look at the pair of stops here. All around the backfield line, still kept in. Trying to find something, got something cooking. Burschel looks to put the ball through. No luck there. Chicago maintains possession though. Good defensive work there by number 25 at Green Bay and laying it right there. As a very close opportunity in front for Rodriguez there as she was trying to get her foot placed on her left. Unfortunately, really good job there by laying, sticking her foot out. Ball goes out of bounds. Green Bay looking to try something there. Just didn't go to plan. So it's a deep throw in for Chicago here. Looking to perforate the Green Bay defense and try to find an early goal five minutes into it. And Chicago City has dominated possession so far. And just as I say that, Green Bay comes back with a handle of their own. Look at this passing, feeding it through, finding the gaps, but Chicago takes over on the turnover. Through here, taking a stop, collects her thoughts at the box. Pineda, just unfortunate there as the ball goes out of bounds. This will be the game's first corner. This is a, also a Green Bay team that Grant gave up five goals in their last game against Minnesota. So they're looking for a much needed performance defensively here today. Kennedy Burchell will boot in the set piece here. Chicago City sets up high. And an easy stop for Green Bay. Burschel will keep this one alive. Look at her. No quit. No quit in her. Chicago forced all the way back to midfield. They'll send it back to Lauren Kaiser at goalkeeper today for Chicago. So far, like what I see early on for Chicago City, particularly in the midfield, a lot of good short passes right now. A lot of open space in the midfield. Talk about open space. Jamie will take it. Look at the moves through the nutmeg. Oh, no chance there, but a beautiful opportunity. A left shot right there from a near tight angle right there for number 10, Sophia Jamie. I would have loved to have seen her cut more on her left right there and more around the middle of the box. Just shooting it from a tough angle right there. It's not going to be easy for her. A little bit of patience there is what Jamie could have needed, I'm gathering. Chicago City still with possession. Green Bay wondering when it'll be their turn. Jamie again here with a tackle. Chicago plays through it. A long boot there, just a bit too much toe. It's a good field goal. Unfortunately, not a shot on target. Fortunately, wrong football. <laughs> exactly. But so far, what I love what I'm seeing from Chicago City so far is the short passes. And what the 4-3-3 does really well is that it allows 
the players on the pitch, particularly for them, to really find their teammates in really short, quick passes right there. And so far, they're doing a really good job. Here's an opportunity right here for Jamie, and she scores! The game's opening goal for Chicago City. Sophia Jamie gives Chicago City their first goal, and it's 1-0. And for Jamie, it is her sixth goal on the season. Jamie with a beautiful goal. Just an absolute strike there. It was all her all the way, Gonzalez. I mean, it was just what an opportunity for Chicago to get this in the eighth minute. Goal by your Chicago City, scored by number 10. It's a good so through pass right there for Jamie. And Jamie, as she has done this entire season, able to finish it and put it in the back of the net. And it gives Chicago City the early one thing lead, less than 10 minutes into the opening half. Jamie again here, what an aggressive player, but it's paying off for her so far. And Chicago sent way back, an errant ball there off a boot. Sometimes that'll happen to you though, you're chip, chip, chipping away. Look at this, a shot here for Green Bay, just high there. A very close shot right there, just a little high above the crossbar right there as Green Bay is looking to spot quickly back right here. Chicago City won't be deterred by a quick shot. Green Bay with possession. Little contact there, but it was all ball. And Chicago City will have the throw in. Relying on the arm of Diaz, they go back. City through midfield, room to move, passes it over to the right. Find support. Still finding those short, quick passes. Maintaining possession. Up to Jamie. Jamie along the touch line. Gets a rough tackle here. The hand on the back as well. So it'll be a free kick. Fernanda Soto will take this one. What do you do here, Rafael? Well, right now there's only three players in the box right now for Chicago City, so I'll be looking for either a quick pass or a cross right there. And right through traffic, it's gonna fall, however, still for Chicago City. Cross fell just a bit soon there. Attack just a bit slow, either one you wanna blame it on. Look at the through, a beautiful touch there. Slows it down. Jamie up to the top of the box. Burschel wasn't there in time. And another tackle. That'll be called as a free kick. Two early fouls for Green Bay here. Do you think it's the goal or do you think it's the position? I think it's honestly the position at this point. You know, I mean, it's still early, so there's no need to be recklessness or feel like an immense amount of pressure early on when you still have over eight minutes left in the entire game. So. You know, I think it's just a little bit of early jitters, you know? As excited Pineda, number 28, is going to take the free kick on her right foot. There's the kick and a diving save there. Beautifully played. It's Green Bay. Puts a stop to that one quickly, and they'll get to take some time off the clock here. Beautiful boot. Headed there. Chicago City takes control. Green Bay last to touch this one. And Chicago City, great communication. They've been playing the throw in very quickly. And that's come to their advantage today. Those quick throw ins give you the critical advantage you mentioned, Grant, of just all things that are good communication so far. Might have gotten away with the handball there as that one struck elbow. And now it's Chicago City's turn to foul. Some rough and rowdy there turned into a free kick. Foul was committed against number 29, Skyler Prentice of Green Bay Glory, who was one of three scorers in Green Bay's last win against Beverly United. 
So she'll be looking to get herself a goal here today. And another foul. Yes. Oh, you'll get called on that one every time. A kick right to the shin. Green Bay gets another chance to slow things down here. A big boot all the way through. And quickly, Kaiser rolls on it to stop the attack. You see the captain there, Kennedy Burchell, commanding this whole team from midfield, offensively minded and defensively minded, as she finds the pass nearly every time. Pineda puts that one through. Looks like Chicago City's been relying on Jamie a lot today in their game plan. We've seen a lot of times them playing down the right-hand side so far. And what's interesting about it so far is that there's been a lot of players right around that area and not, you know, letting Jamie be only isolated against the defense. It's an opportunity for Jamie right here, potentially, and it's wrapped up right there by the goalkeeper, Stumball. Phillips to Jamie again. That's the problem with keeping Jamie just solely out there and relying on her entirely. Sometimes on those attacks, she's just not going to be there. It almost feels like you wasted an opportunity as you're sent all the way back now to your penalty area, and Kaiser has to restart this one. And, you know, the question is, you know, for Green Bay, you know, what will they do about Sophia Jamie? Will they have two defenders on her throughout most of the game, you know, type marking on her, or would it let her continue to roam free and just press honestly? Because so far... We're only 15 minutes into the, the opening half, and so far, she has been the biggest X Factor on the pitch. Burrell runs into contact there. And just a foul called here. Another free kick for Chicago. That's some tough contact on the turnover. Leads to a beautiful Chicago opportunity. Players kept out of the box by Green Bay. A soft touch there by Fernanda Soto. Just goes the opposite way she was hoping it toward. A valid effort there by Soto on her right foot. Just didn't get the angle nor the power she would have wished for. 15th minute. We haven't seen much of Green Bay besides one quick shot. Chicago City absolutely dominant on their own end of the pitch. But when it comes to attacking, some pass is just falling short. This pass will fall left and long. Jamie again on the rundown, but just not there in time. I think that one was intended for Burchell. So far, it seems like Green Bay just doesn't have a solution right now when it comes to dealing with Chicago City, particularly like in the midfield, because a lot of the high pressure by Chicago City has not able to allow Green Bay to sort of have a moment to think of their decisions and their passes. And because of that, it's allowed Chicago City to really establish control of this game. City at midfield tries to find some room, can't. They do hang on to it, Green Bay. Few infractions today, just almost seems as their form of alleviating pressure is sending the ball into touch. And relying on a throw in. Almost dangerous though to rely on Chicago City off a set piece to give you a break. As this is a prime example here along the right side, Soto, room closing in on her. She approaches touch line, no good. Sends it through the legs and off the left heel of her defender. Quick corner here into the penalty area. Looks for the cross. Set up just not there and broken up by Morrissey of Green Bay. 
that's twice now that Chicago City's had two really good corners so far. And, you know, they've had several chances in close so far, but still a lot of time remaining for them to finally cover from a corner. Get another whistle here, and now it's Green Bay's turn. Green Bay with a free kick. Their backfield is certainly back. Chicago City again. Chicago at midfield. Goes to Soto on the right, sends it back to the middle. Up to Burschel. Back to Costain. Costanon, pardon me. Through. Look at the speed, just not there though. As that attack by Brianna Rodriguez just falls short. And in a blink of an eye, Chicago City goes from midfield to right in the penalty area. Not only that, particularly, I mean, Green Bay's, their front three so far has been very quiet so far through 20 minutes. Now you had, you know, Rachel James, you also have Scott Apprentice and Miles Stewart so far. Neither one of them has really been mentioned so far throughout the broadcast. Just gives a testament to how well Chicago City has played in the midfield and defensively as well. We saw Skylar Prentice there go down for a little bit, recollect herself. She's up and healthy now. Chicago City at midfield. Green Bay again on some stupendous defense that turns into a opportunistic attack. We'll talk about the short pass, it's a great example right there between Solo and Phillips and then as well Casanova right there all being so close to one another and allowing them to now sort of start to build up a play. So here they go down Look the at far the side. Here. A beautiful midfield cross. Jamie kept alive and a whistle as the contact by Jamie just tarnishes all that as Chicago City has done to penetrate the Green Bay defense. I don't know if it was a foul from up here, but I'm not a ref. We're wearing headsets, not red, of course. <laughs> Green Bay taking advantage of that call as they've got some life now. Moving up, Banky sends that one up. City back with possession. Dancing around and kept it. Backfield. Soto on the right. Oh, look at that attack. Rodriguez not resting at all. Soto again with it. This time it was Pineda. Chicago still at midfield. There's the through. Teammates screaming to kick it. She just holds on to it and passes back to Jamie. Jamie with a bit of spin on it. That's the right idea. Station shot right there and a easy jump right there for Stallmall right there. Ball just about five meters ahead of where it needed to be. Chicago City doesn't have to worry one bit about a Green Bay attack. And that's been the biggest difference so far in this game, Grant. It's just that Green Bay 
they haven't looked alive so far in this game so far. They look like they're having to chase the ball around rather than be the chaser. And the chase is on Chicago City. We've seen so many beautiful plays set up from this position as it looks like another one is starting to cook in the kitchen. Look at the spin, the through, the opportunity kept alive. Just left of the net, though. And Kaylee Burrell wants that shot back. Just six inches left of the post. Those are the ones that sting you the most, Grimes, when you're right up front against the net, one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper, and, and just having a shot, not even, like, get saved by the goalkeeper, but just missing it wide by a few inches. It's pretty tough for demoralizing. Midfield for Chicago. Brought back, taking their time with it. Phillips sends that one way up off the ankles of Pineda. And Green Bay, you say they didn't look alive. Well, they looked alive right there until it just trickled out of bounds again. So Chicago City, nearly all their possessions have come from Green Bay mistakes, and this is no exception. Kept at the back line. Plenty of support there as they find their way through to midfield. Some trickery there by Castanon. And a breath of fresh air for Chicago as they find the through and ready themselves for the attack. Can she beat her on the foot race? Oh, she'll just take the corner instead, and it's the right move. Off the set piece here, you've had luck all day. Green Bay doesn't know what's coming. So far, they have three players in the box. And Jamie, we trust. This one trickles out. Still a beautiful chance to restart an attack here. To the back line. Abigail Roy. Roy to Burschel. Burschel with some movement. Finds a gap. Finds a shot and finds the goal. What a beautiful play by Burschel from way back. Excellent work right there by the captain number 15. Just beautiful right there on her left foot. It just soars past. Some ball right there. It looked like for a moment it was going to go wide for a second. However, it does not. And now Chicago City riding with a 2 nothing lead here. What Goal a beautiful York, play. City. Scored by number 15, Kennedy Burchill. Burschel finding the upper 90 on that one. And I don't know who could have stopped that one. I don't know if you're a religious man, Raphael, but I don't know if I'd even entrust in God to stop an upper 90 from 20 meters back. <laughs> if God can't save it, no one can. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, well, maybe Satan, but that's a whole other topic. Call us playing favorites. Oh, look at this, no. Brianna Rodriguez takes the extra touch, and that extra touch just seemed to hurt her there. That extra oh, chest right there was very costly right there, and a really good job by Lang coming back and retreating and not allowing right there the opportunity. Rodriguez. Corner there, sent just a bit long. Thought she had the support, and she did. Unfortunately, it was from the other team. Gomez takes over here. Sends it into touch. Chicago City around the touch line. With the through broken up. A little contact there. I 
think it was a hat ball, if anything, right there on Pineda, number 28. But so far, it's so interesting, you know. We, we talked earlier at the beginning of the broadcast about Minnesota Roar and how well they play. And, you know, today, Chicago City have played a lot like what Minnesota did against them on Sunday. A lot of quick passes, really good, you know, transition on attack. And they have been rewarded so far with two goals. Some midfield play here by Green Bay. Goes the opposite way. Milo Stewart just wasn't there in time for the glory. Chicago broken up now. And Shaden takes it all the way down. Looks to find the support. Bit too rough on it, though. City again here. James with some nice pressure there from Green Bay. Chicago through one line. Can they make it through the other two? They find it past the midfield. Going into defense now. Off the chest and no good. That's the second time today already for Burrell right there. Having a great opportunity in front. Once again, can't convert it now. You know, if you're and the belief in that whether or not you can score a goal from up close, it's all mentality from here on out for her. Nine minutes into it though, two goals. Hard to say that confidence for any of the 11 of Chicago is wavering. No, without a doubt to this point, you know, but the one thing that they cannot do is let their guard down acting the way how they play because so far throughout the first 30 minutes what they have done so far has not been successful green bay with a deep throw in here finds the right angle just doesn't find the right depth as kaiser falls quickly on that one and extinguishes the flames of green bay deep ball just too far in front of her woman Green Bay with a nice back line, toying with the midfield as well. I will say this about Green Bay, what great communication they have. You hear them, they're the loudest team on the field right now. You're the loudest, yet so far up to this point, you know, they haven't been dominant up to the, haven't been strong. And, you know, all that communication, while it's good in theory, if it doesn't help the team succeed, it's meaningless on you're right, strong and fundamentals are Green Bay. Unfortunately, you can communicate all the passes you want, you gotta make them though. I mean, Green Bay have done their communication through talking, but yet, Scott said what they've done, they've done their communication, you know, through short passes, you know, and sort of reading everyone and having an idea of the next movement of the ball. Roy heads it back to Kaiser Phillips. Air mails this one left. Deep through, beautiful touch by Burchell. She'll leave it to Rodriguez. Rodriguez, no room to move, but still finds the extra meters on it. And broken up by Green Bay. Green Bay with the numbers now. Through midfield, nice tempo, good speed. Letting Chicago City break, catch up to him. Jane's there, just couldn't find that extra pass. Jamie again here. Green Bay will give Chicago another corner kick from a deadly area. Once again, Jamie will deliver the corner. And so far, they've had several close calls so far. Jamie, nice depth. She'll be able to keep it alive here. Gap closing in on her. Takes the extra touch. Sends that one right to the photographers. It's a nice little picture right there. Oh, beautiful little candid. <laughs> no, but for uh, Jamie shot right there. A decent effort right there on her left. Uh, like for a second, it could have gone up into the upper 90, like how Burchell's goal went. 
Oh, Chicago City again here. Just when you think Green Bay has an opportunity, City comes out and attacks. Midfield now. And trusting in the back line. Phillips sends this one up, leaving a gap, but still some support. Soto. Finds a lane. This one strikes the referee. Fortunately, wrong colored kit to <laughs> kick that one to. You think all the space in the field and the referee is just randomly at that moment in that one spot. Happens to the best of us. Chicago. I will say they didn't have much cooking on that possession. But they get another opportunity here with a throw in. You know, the one thing I really started to pick up on, which guys have done really well, is a lot of high pressure. Uh, they remind me almost of like the year can club Liverpool teams. A lot of geek and pressing, a lot of high pressure, you know, forcing uh, the glory to really have to think instantly on their feet. And they have been rewarded so far for a lot of creating turnovers, creating a lot of opportunities. And so far, it's worked for them really well. Ellie Banky with a tough tackle there on Soto. Soto back to her back line of defense. Green Bay again here. Midfield, Banky sends it up. Chicago City with a touch at possession here. A big through to midfield. Finds some space on the left there. Quickly closes in on her. Sends it back, Bureau back. Midfield fed through, Soto on the run. Jamie's there. Jamie, center cross. An extra touch there by Pineda. Just not what you needed. Soto. Back to Phillips. Phillips with room to move. Just passed to where she was instead of where she was going to. Oh, look at this here by Castanon. Finds the open Burchell. Fed through. Way back, Pineda. Up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez crosses it in. No good. One of the biggest issues I've started to see a lot with Cream Bay is that they're playing really narrow, particularly with the four, their back four. And what's it's allowed is we've seen time and time again Sophia Jamie right there on the right, roaming freely, which allows those crosses to get into the box. Just under nine to go here. Will Chicago go for another? Or will they play a attacking and aggressive formation at running out the clock? Soto to Kassanon. Kassanon up to Burchell. Back line, Sorensen sends this one back to the keeper. Green Bay now, they need a goal here in this first half. Could this be the opportunity? No. Still a throw in though. Casting on, quickly sent that one out. Throw in for Green Bay, goes long. Alive. Stewart with a long ball there. I'll put it in the hands of Kaiser. There just seems to be no real connection, communication right now between the front three for the glory so far. And, you know, we only have a few minutes left for half. So it'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make when they get into the second half. At 
midfield, brought back. City gets this one. Soto with the throw in. Goes to Phillips. Phillips up to Burchill. Burchill back to Roy. Roy hesitates, then finds some support. Pretty open field goes to Pineda. Pineda over to her left, short pass. Finds the attacking line. Left side, little room now. Drawing in two women. Ball into touch, Chicago with the throw in. So far this Green Bay team just feels a little bit almost like lifeless so far. What did you say, Grant? There's... Uh, lifeless, I don't know if that's the word. I'm, I'm thinking discombobulated, you know, wondering what they can do what they can possibly adjust to fix their attack and find a goal here in the waning moments of the first half. Green Bay with an opportunity here. And again, just fed a bit too far. Intended to go to Janes, but instead it right to the lap of the back line of Chicago. Chicago with a through. Miracle on the interruption. Right there, Phillips with a deadly attack, but right back to Banky. Banky to her right side, and nobody's there. It's sort of been the story all day. Nobody there for Green Bay. Yeah, all these passes, they're beautiful passes, and they're the right passes. And I don't know who to blame, the passer or the non-existent support. I think it's a little bit of both, and it's all part of what we were talking about earlier, just that communication, just getting not gelling up. together. Yeah, getting your head up, making sure they're there, passing in front of the intended target. And look at this, some speed here, room to move, Pineda. Pineda hesitates, goes over. And a big boot there to extinguish Chicago. Some speed now. Pass just off the hip. Phillips. City, even when they're struggling, they're comfortable, and you see it here now. Back in their own end. Aggressive attack by Green Bay, but they're keeping their composure amongst the back line. And finding experienced support. They're just, they're just so structured in the back so far, and that's what's allowed them to really contain this Green Bay attack so far. That experience support coming that last time from Burchill, Phillips, and Soto all teaming up there to find some room. And look at this, paying off in dividends. Soto, back to Soto. After Jamie decided she didn't want any part of it. Phillips up to Burchill. Burchill to Jamie. Jamie. Seen her in that position so many times before. She's deadly from there. In the box, quickly kicked away by Green Bay. Three minutes remain. What Green Bay's basically done up to this point defensively is allowing Jamie to go roam freely on the right hand side and have several players inside the box and basically say we'll allow you to cross the ball every single time and with the strength and numbers we have defensively we'll be able to prevent a goal from happening whether it's through a block or just a clearance and so far it's worked up to this point for Green Bay in that instance but the overall picture has not another foul for Chicago it's Green Bay sends it up Some room on the left, Sorensen. Back to Goldman. 
Thomas. Back to Sorensen. Sorensen idea, the right one, just not the right time. Green Bay along that right-hand side of their own. That stoppage right off the neck of Castanon. Putting her body on the line for her team. Field. Oh, and a whistle stops the attack. And the airs kind of taken out of Chicago at that moment. Looked like a grand opportunity for City. The opportunity of a four on two counterattack right there is just wasted by the referee's decision. Green Bay, thankful for that one, as nobody was set in a position to defend themselves. Long boot here. Just falls right of the goal. It had the distance though. It was the right idea, but you don't have support in the box to get that second touch to redirect and fool Kaiser. So Kaiser saw that one all the way from downtown. Now City the other way. Jamie on that right side, still on the attack. Booted away, Green Bay here. Couple nice touches, still kept alive. On the left side, Sorensen finds the middle. That touch, just a bit too much elevation on it. Nonetheless, Green Bay with one of their best chances of today. A trio of beautiful connections leading to an opportunity. But once more, a tale as old as time, or at least the tale of the day. Chicago City's last pass into the penalty area. An unfortunate mixture of disaster. It seems like Green Bay, they're able to string a couple of good passes together in the midfield and start setting up for the final third. The problem is the moment when they get into the final third, they're just stonewalled by those four defenders for Chicago City. And as we're approaching halftime very shortly, it's going to be interesting to see if the same thing continues in the second half or not. City's back line once again coming through, taking the pressure off the entire team. Room on the left, through the midfield. Quickly it's Soto, but Green Bay with an aggressive attack there by Stewart. And that's half time. That'll do us in just a minute of extra time there. And we'll be back with the halftime show here in about six minutes, I'd say. I'm Grant Harrison. That's Rafael Gonzalez. And we'll see you shortly here on Sports Broadcast Solutions. Sports broadcasting for everyone.
Great excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede. We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith, but well, my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other teams slashed me, took the opportunity, Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0 A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so... I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts, and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith. But my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it. Other team slashed me, took the opportunity. Saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense. And Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3-3. Three to three. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, 
We also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world. And we are back. First half action provided plenty to talk about. Two quick Chicago goals there. Just playing the ball through that 4-3-3 and showing us why that simple formation isn't so simple after all for Chicago. I'm your host, Grant Harrison, joined up here by Rafael Gonzalez. Rafael, you're a goalkeeper, and I just learned this over halftime. <laughs> so as a goalkeeper now, put yourself in Green Bay's shoes. What do you need to do to communicate to defense find that midfield yourself do you put it on yourself those two goals what do you do I wouldn't put it on myself and I would put on myself only if we were if my team had scored several goals but obviously it's not been the case with Green Bay so you know at this point you want to regroup and only that just give your defense some confidence believe in them give them that belief you know that things can turn around here in the second half for them and you know we've seen crazier things in life that they could come back and rally score two quick goals just like that green so bay. go ahead so there's still a lot of time for uh, green bay to make adjustments hopefully they've taken advantage of these 15 minutes during the half and you know by the end of this game we'll see whether or not green bay have made some good adjustments or not Green Bay, we were talking, against an easy opponent, they're the best soccer team we've ever seen. Chicago City, though, is no easy opponent. And now Green Bay, we see them struggling so hard. And it's just, Green Bay, they the last pass into the box, you know, to give them an opportunity is just lacking. What do you do to fix that? You rethink how you look at the final third. For them, the final third has basically been a nightmare situation to get it towards. And if I were them, just take one pass at a time, think slowly, and just, you know, regroup. And whatever you did in the first half, get out of that mindset and change it here, start in the second half. As we get started, and get ready to go to start this second half. 45 minutes left to play. An opportunity for Chicago to climb up and fight for that wild card spot. And Green Bay, an opportunity for them. If Chicago can score two and a half, what can Green Bay do when they hunker down and make the adjustments? The officials getting set here. There's the whistle, and we get underway here. City sends it up to the left, no good. In the backfield, pushed way back. Phillips goes back to Kaiser. Kaiser to her left. 
long boot all the way through midfield to the attacking line. Stopped and then brought back by Burschel. Burschel back to Soto. A long through ball here. Nobody's there for it. Closest one was Pineda. Green Bay on the right end of the field. Push back just outside the box now. Kircher in that back line. A couple of passes just didn't go her way and Chicago City takes over. Midfield, a turnover here. Opportunity for Boyd. Sent over. Looked like it was for Kircher. It'll be interesting to see if Boyd, being one of the substitutions that they made during the half for Green Bay, if she can spark some energy and reinvigorate this Green Bay attack. As a substitute, when you find a full half ahead of you, what goes inside your head at the locker room when you know you're going to play a full half? It, it's very interesting, you know, as an opportunity right in front of you here off the crossbar. No good. Sent out. Green Bay with a fortunate opportunity. A fortunate break, I should say. Chicago City and another cat-like save there by Green Bay. Stumbaugh. Oh my goodness. A pair. A beautiful set of tries for Chicago. And now a corner kick. What goes through your head here, Rafael? Well, I'm Stumbaugh. I'm taking a moment and, t and breathe and just recuperate here for this corner. Here's the cross. Set in. It'll be a goal kick here. You were mentioning it, Grant, beforehand about substitutions and how coming in to the second half, you know, you're looking to provide that spark that your team hasn't had to this point. Not only that, you're the most fit on the pitch in terms of fitness. So that is a huge advantage compared to everyone else who's been playing already for the opening half. So it'll be interesting to see if Boy can make an impact. Bureau goes to her back line. Roy. Roy has Casson on to her left, goes to her. Now back to midfield. Pineda back to Burrell, to Casson on. Now Kaiser. Trying to find something through midfield. On the left-hand side, room to move. Diaz, still in the left corner there, broken up now by Alyssa Miracle and Green Bay. On the touch line, that one saved from going out. Tillman. Pardon me, that was Boyd on the chase there. Nonetheless, Chicago. With 40 minutes left to go, looking very comfortable here. One more goal could put the nail in the coffin of Green Bay. The glory looking and hoping and wishing for an opportunity. Boyd, Kircher, sorry. That was a good defensive play there by Chicago City right there on the through ball into the box and a really good job defensively right there to clear the danger. Back line, Pineda goes up to Castanon. 
Kasnot sends this one through, and another chase for Soto, just not there. Golden opportunity for Green Bay here. Big boot here. City at midfield though, takes over. Broken up beautifully there by Kircher. City back to recollect. Roy goes up to Burschel. Burel. Now some contact here with Pineda. Glory with it again here. Miracle goes back to Stumba. Now with some speed, a beautiful touch there by Boyd. And again, the glory can't find that through. Boyd again calls for it, but just not there. Green Bay with a far better attack in this half than the first. Still need that last, last touch. Just not there though. There are some things I'm liking about Green Bay so far here in the second half. They're slowly making that progress forward to the final third and if they continue to make that progress here throughout the entire second half, uh, they have an opportunity to feel that they will be rewarded here with a goal, maybe two, as the time progresses. They're making progress, but what else do they need to do to finish it? They just got to make more concise passes in the final third as they have a shot right here, and it's saved by Kaiser. That shot by Kircher. Again, their first opportunity, and I want to say, 50 minutes, it seems like. But the good thing is about that, though, they finally get that shot that they've been waiting to get so far this entire game. And now, from here on out, things should only get easier from them. Green Bay in their own end. Gomez finds it through, coughs it up, and it's Chicago again. Jamie on that right-hand side, broken up at the top of the penalty area. Now City again. This time it's Pineda. Pineda with a shot, that one left. A couple shots now by Pineda, going left. Hard to go to sleep on those, I'd say. Hey, Rafael. Well, Pineda right there, she was trying to get herself another goal on the season. Uh, she has one goal to her name this year, and it came against this very same team, against Green Bay, uh, a few weeks ago. And a really good shot right there, just unfortunately just wide right there to the left. Green Bay looking to spread the field here. Has a nice touch to keep it in control. Banky on that left-hand side. Far end of your screen. Soto here for the city on the stoppage. Big boot by Glory. Gomez trying to find a connection with her front line of attackers. Not there though. Burschel will send this one back. Back to Burschel. Burschel, middle of the pack, goes up. A foot race here. See what Burel can do. Burel attacking the goalkeeper's box. And just on the inside thigh of Rodriguez. Another attacking opportunity by Diaz, broken up by the glory. 
sent nearly up to midfield. Chicago sends it to midfield themselves. Soto giving that one a boot. As we approach the 56th minute, Rafael, do you think Green Bay can do it today? Oh, man. I mean, we're 55 minutes into the game, and so far, outside of that one shot, there hasn't been much to really look up to and really say that, yes, they can. The reality is, it hasn't been that way so far. And unless some drastic changes are made here in the next, about the entire remainder of the second half, I don't think it's going to happen. What do you think? Well, tough to tell, as you said. 56 minute, a lot of soccer left to be played. Let's see what they can do, though, as they're brewing something up here. Through midfield, they were looking for Kwidzinski, number 22 of Green Bay there. Kwidzinski just behind the ball. And now on the stoppage, the Kircher back to Kwidzinski. And then the big issue Green Bay has had is that their front three, they're too far isolated from one another on the pitch, which leaves their only striker Boyd out by herself without any support from either of the two wingers. So then if you're Green Bay, you either want, he mentioned, I'm joining to Kwiatkowski to either come up forward and come closer to Boyd or have their other winger come closer as well. But if that's not gonna be the case, Things are going to be remaining the same here for the glory of a shutout. Green Bay with the ball in their own end. They can smell the other end. Let's look at this. They'll dig in here. Trying to find some room. Gomez goes for a long shot. Looking for the upper 90 there. And what a boot. From our angle, it looks pretty close. Well, Gomez right there. She is from Brazil, channeling her former uh, R9 Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a really good effort, though. It just, once again, as we've seen several times throughout today, just a lot of good shots, just unfortunately over the bar. It was a good effort. Do you think shots like that from way back, maybe not way back, but finding that midfield shot? is the key to success today for Green Bay? Success, no, but it's a start. And considering how, and I, no, it's, it's an honest answer, like considering how, you know, in the final third, they, they can't get there really, they've been stuck. And, you know, when you take a shot, you just never know where it's gonna go in or not. So have a little faith. On the left side of the penalty area, Green Bay looks to clear it. But a quick header there by Chicago. Sends that one way back. We'll get another boot here. Along the right side, Lang. Sends it back to the middle of the back row. Now to the left side. Back and forth here at midfield. City finally prevailing as Burchell goes over to Rodriguez. Rodriguez back to Soto. Looking to move through Phillips. Roy to Phillips, now to Soto. Vicious move, and it somewhat pays off as Burchell will be fouled. Free kick quickly taken there, and a long bomb. Again, Pineda. Sixtieth minute here. Thirty left to play. And an opportunity for Green Bay. 
You know, we talked about how Green Bay, how they struggled in their recent form, you know, in their last, you know, four games. They've been outscored nine goals to five up to this point. And so far today, that's going to go up to 11 goals now in their last five defensively. Cleared away by Chicago. Green Bay won't go quietly. As City looks to move past midfield, Pineda to the left side finds Diaz. Diaz toying with the touch line, works her way back in. To the left side crossing, centering pass there, just not in time. We've talked about Green Bay, but what does Chicago City need to do to earn that wild card spot this year? Well, if you take a look at the standings, you know, based on the rest of the teams across the entire league, uh, they're going to have to win out. And then not only that, they'll have to have a good enough goal differential in case of any tiebreakers or anything. Because you look at other teams, you know, you have in the Southeast Division, you have FC Miami, who have already played nine games this year. They have 22 points on there, and they're not even first in their division. You also have other teams such as Morris Elite in the Metropolitan, and you also have Oakland in the North Cal. So there are several teams across the entire league that uh, look really good and really strong so far on the year for in order to make that one wild card perf. So for Chicago City, uh, they're going to have to win out, which means also they're going to have to beat Minnesota, which they'll face off in a few weeks from now. A deep throw in here for the glory. Here's a Lang will look to do some damage. Almost cleared away. Top of the penalty area opportunity for Green Bay. No good. And Oh, it just looked like Boyd didn't have the angle on the attack. See, those are moments right there for Boyd. You have to take that shot because everyone is so close right near to you. If you take one little touch right there, everyone starts attacking you right there. And just those are just missed opportunities that Green Bay have gotten so far in a few in this game. They have to, you know, take those opportunities when they come. And so far, they, those opportunities just haven't come out so far well for them. Speaking of Boyd, what a incredible play there on defense. As she quickly had to turn around, and it got a little physical, but after all, 63rd minute, down 2-0. Who can blame her for getting a little physical? You speak about physical, not the physicality of this game. I mean, as we get further along in this game, fatigue eventually starts to be an issue. You know, players start getting a little bit tired on the pitch. Yeah, but just seeing which team is more fit in that category. Girl back to Roy. Up to Castanon. Now way over, it's Phillips. At midfield, Chicago trying to find the support. Has it on the right-hand side, just doesn't have the angle for the pass right now. He'll work it up. Soto. And now here's the glory. Boyd just missing Gomez there. Right hand side attack for Chicago. Inside the penalty area. Cleared away by the glory. Kwidzinski with it now. Stolen away by Castanon. Gloria. There, Maria Sorensen taking no chances on defense. We got a substitution here for the glory. So coming off the pitch is number 22, Luzzi. Kwidzinski. Kwidzinski is subbed in, subbed out, I should say, for what appears to be Shaylin Jared. City will leave the ball at the corner. 
little passive aggressive move there. <laughs> As it's a goal kick for Green Bay. Lang on the right hand side. Has fresh legs to her right and Jarrett. A long boot though. Through balls just not getting through. Casting on. Oh, and a foot race is kept alive, but quickly goes back to the glory. Sorensen on the throw in. Long boot here. Boyd looked to save that one. City will get it back as we have a city substitution now. Not only one, but two substitutions, it appears. Rodriguez is subbed out for Hannah Grizzik. And Burrell will be substituted. This time for Cali Chiarelli. Chiarelli takes an important left-hand side on attack. You know, we're already 20 minutes into the second half, Grant, and up to this point, Green Bay, it just, they have not done much uh, adjustment so far. And it's a testament to, as well, how good Chicago City has been, particularly, you know, controlling possession of this game, but also defensively, how well structurally organized they have been. What about the substitutions for Chicago City? How important is this right now to them? It's, you know, an opportunity for fresh legs on the pitch, you know, just to give them more experience as well. Of course, a lot of players, you know, obviously being from the collegiate level, obviously here looking to get some more experience, you know, before the fall season begins. And, you know, last thing you want to do also is to get any players injured. And based on how the game has gone so far, you can feel in control, which I think is one thing that right now for Chicago City and coach um, Akisha Gomes right now, you feel really good about. You bring up a good point there is most of these players are used to playing the bulk of their season in the fall. And it certainly feels like late fall now. These are two very recent cold games, previously against Minnesota Aurora, and now for Green Bay, that Chicago has played in the span of just under a week. And do you factor in muscle tightness at this point in the game? You know what? I would say yes, only in the fact that how the weather has been out of sorts. You know, several days we've had nice weather in the 70s. Then one day, you know, you'll have like six degrees with the rain and the wind. So I would say that's a very fair argument. Look at this for Chicago City. An opportunity there. No good by Grizzik. But another corner opportunity. This time, Jamie will take it again. Can expect a large boot here. See if she finds the depth. Broken up initially. There at the top of the box. And then quickly reined in by the goalkeeper, Stamba. Green Bay still looking for something. Chicago breaks it up this time. Big boot here. And a nervous little rebound there by Stambaz. Didn't find the palm on the ball, but nonetheless. It's a good save there by Stambaz. Paying a shot right there. Paying is still looking to find her second goal on the campaign. What a kick by Pineda. Here we are in the 70th minute. Glory still opportunistic. Previous attack has been extinguished. Kept alive here, Boyd 
on that far end of your screen there. And at last, ball goes into touch. We'll have another substitution right here for Green Bay. This substitution this time, tears a lane. Gets a chance at the bench. Looks like Kenzie Blau. So a midfield substitution for Green Bay here. Are you looking to substitute midfield or forwards at this point? If you're Green Bay, you should be substituting forwards up and pushing everyone up forward. You're down by two. You haven't had any luck in the final third at this point. So if I were them, you start making substitutions from defensive players to more attacking midfielders and forwards. And what do you have to lose? Think about it. You're down by two, with us in 20 minutes to go in the second half. You have had little to no chances the entire game. So what do you have to lose? You're right there, Rafael. So we'll see what Blau can do, see if she's offensively minded. It's time to go all out attack FIFA style. <laughs> Who's your FIFA team of choice, Rafael? Oh, I, I've retired from FIFA for like four years now. <laughs> I stopped selling my soul to EA Sports a long time ago. Oh, I, fair point. I started playing football manager, like a, one of like nerds. <laughs> World needs more nerds, I'm telling you. This ball through the back line. Instead of throwing controllers on the TV screen now, I just get angry at watching 22 players in 3D on the computer. <laughs> Goal kick here for Stamba. All the way up to midfield. City again here. But again, glory doesn't go quietly. Boyd and Jared. Can they be can they be quiet if they haven't made any noise up to this point though? Oh, you're right there, but when the ball does reach the back line, the attackers of Green Bay are right there. They don't make it easy for Chicago to get the ball out of their own end. Kept in here by Chicago. Looking to work towards the middle. A free ball there and booted away quickly. Getting out of danger. You know, despite Salma conceding two goals in the opening half, she's done a really good job. You know, several great saves, you know. And it's unfortunate that her saves, you know, haven't mattered much due to the fact that her team has not yet scored a goal. And it's unfortunate they have to leave some saving opportunities to your back line of defense. That situation there, teamwork. There is nothing more frustrating for a goalkeeper when you make several incredible saves and in the end it all goes for nothing, especially how the scoreline is so far up to this point. On the left side, you hear a boot by Cicciarelli, duck and cover. And we have another substitution, this time for Chicago City. Seems like Chicago, I think, has more made more substitutions in this second half than Green Bay, and it's a bit peculiar, wouldn't you say, Raphael? No, and the only reason why is because there's a sense that they are firmly in control of this game and that, like, they don't see Green Bay almost as a threat to this point. You know, which on one hand sounds almost a bit arrogant, but... You know, so far, Green Bay hasn't done anything to show otherwise. As City set way back, Diaz running, trying to find some support, and then a backline stop there. On the left side, let's see what Burschel can do. Burschel with a fend. Boots that one through the back line. 
So it's a goal kick here for Stumba. Going back to the substitution, I did not see who come in, but I did see who came out, which was Sophia Jamie, who came out. Sophia has been a great player today. One goal. Could be the winning goal if things go the way looks like they're going. Don't want to get a broadcaster's jinx going on here. Sophie takes a seat there. And as you said, Rafael, Chicago City showing that well, they think they've got this one and could be dangerous for them. You know, don't want to let a goal slip by just because you're trying to rest your true starter's legs. Not only that, you just want to preserve your starters and not allow them to have, you know, a careless injury. I mean, think about it. You know, I'll give you an NBA example. You know, like Derrick Rose and the Bulls in the playoffs when I took on the Suns and he was still playing with like a minute left <laughs> before he tore his ACL and everything. You know, so... There's, there's no reason, you know, to put to keep Jamie on the pitch when you guys the team feels comfortably up in front. Diaz up to midfield. Grizzik sends it back. Now it's Pineda. Burschel sends this one through and into the lap of Stamba. Chicago City got underneath that one. Glory at midfield. Sorensen trying to find that left side all game long. City with a long throw in to Pineda. Still working on that touchline, both sides of this battle. As now with a bit more room, Kircher over to Blau. Held up there by Jared. Jared inside the box, couldn't get it back enough for Boyd. Burschel for City now. Burschel again. Back to Diaz. Diaz goes to the top of the penalty area with Roy. And look at this. Oh. Boyd was on the chase and quickly cut off there from any chance at an opportunity. A big mistake there for a split second by Casanova, but immediately she corrects her mistake for the moment. It is a corner, but it's the first time in a long time we've seen Green Bay have a corner, and now things start to get really interesting here, very late here in the second half. 10 minutes left to go. Let's see what they can do on the set piece. Is it a consolation prize or room for improvement? Brought back to the back line. Miracle with a long bomb there. Too much toe sent over the net and into the parking lot. Unfortunately for Green Bay, their best opportunity of the day wasted away. It's a good field goal attempt. Not a goal. And they, they wish they were playing football right now. They'd be up 3-2. 6-2 uh, if you count that first half opportunity, I'd say. Indeed. Burschel. From the left side, working in, top of the penalty area. Goes over now to the right side. Soto. Through, but no good. And a final header there. This time by Cicciarelli. Oh my goodness. A trio of opportunities that time for Chicago. And again, Stumbaugh coming out strong once again in the position right there. And oh, she made a lot of good saves. She's done a really good job since conceding those two goals early in the first half. And it showed a lot of confidence. 
It's been a great game for Chicago. One can only imagine the conversations and reflection that city will have about this game. But that last opportunity there, do you think that's a bit of uh, banter happening in this dressing room afterwards? Like, you had it wide open and you couldn't get it. Is it a bit of banter or almost, oh, man, I need to do better? I think we're like back in the playground, back when I, when we were kids and everything. Yeah, I think now they're just a lot more professional and everything. So we have a foul right there, and Cassinon is not happy about that at all. And she's going to get a yellow for the game's first booking. That yellow, what does that mean to Chicago? It reflects more for Cassinon, more just on her. She has to be careful for the remainder of the game to not get a second yellow card and get sent off. Especially how critical she is for the midfield. Kircher was brought down there. She's up and moving about now, though. Looks to be unaffected. This Green Bay has a long kick here. Numbers on the left side. About 35 meters away from the goal. the net again tried to go for it an impressive attempt just couldn't rein it in I gotta say it another field goal <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is the unfortunate side of playing on this pitch is you do have the bars behind you there to remind you uh, it's just over should be playing another sport it's almost, it's almost like Green Bay is playing the wrong football some would say oh they are Nonetheless, they are playing a good form of soccer right now. While it is, as it stands, a 2-0 loss, if it stands that way, uh, there's plenty of positives, I'm sure, to reflect on if you're Green Bay. What, what would you say that some are? So looking back, you know, they limit the damage control. Um, they gave up two goals in the first half. They haven't conceded one goal since. And, you know, for them, they have to sort of reinvigorate themselves, you know, as the season continues to wind down, because now this will be their fourth loss out of their last five fixtures. So a bit of a key reflection as the season continues to wind down. Beautiful touch here by Diaz to keep it alive. Sends it back up to Cicciarelli. And a bomb there falls into the lap of Stumba. Big boot there. Take some time off the clock. About six minutes left to go. You talk about damage control. I mean, on this team bus of Green Bay, there's got a lot to be of sunk gotta be a lot of sunken heads, wouldn't you say, Raphael? Yeah, definitely without a doubt. I think just they haven't been up to par with their standards as a late as a unit. Herschel with a set of moves to get the defense off her back. Gives her team room to move now. Now a battle ensues. A quick throw in. Who can blame them for not taking time? Brings up another throw in here. Smart move by Green Bay to not see much room out of it. So just try to hit it into it, I guess. Chicago put off pace and that will bring a foul. When you see a player struggling for a footing, you can only assume that someone's there holding their back. Uh, give credit though, so she did a really good job right there given her smaller frame and how well she shielded, the, she shielded the ball from the Gloria attacker as she will come off the pitch now as three substitutions come in for City. A trio of substitutions, I believe. 
Now that is almost a full bench. That has come on for Chicago. All their substitutions used up. And what a time to use them. You get your lower bench players plenty of minutes, plenty of experience with, I would say, a difficult team to beat. I mean, you see Chicago City put up massive numbers, amounts of goals against these teams, and here they're only held to two. And it's interesting because Green Bay, their defense has not been that great coming into the day. They had conceded nine goals in their previous four games. So, you know, today hasn't been that bad defensively for them. Offensively, though, do you think they're wishing they had not more opportunities? They've had plenty of opportunities, but more goals, more finishes on those opportunities. Do you think they wish they had more? Yes, but the only way that can happen for them is if they get quality opportunities. The quality amount of opportunities for them does not help them. It's only the quality opportunities for them because they've had a few opportunities here and there, but they've all come from long range, which more often than not is easy for a keeper to stop those and not be much of a threat. It's those quality opportunities in close in the final third that's really going to help this team score goals. And today, they haven't gotten those goals because of a lack of opportunities. Final minutes ticking away. Here's Chicago. Toys with their back line. Up to midfield. Chiarelli sends it back to the backfield. Gallo there on the left side. Coughs it up. Unfortunate move. Kircher at midfield for the glory. And again, it's Chicago. Pineda to Burschel, back up. Kircher and Boyd looking to team up again there for a goal. Couldn't find it. And there, another boot by Green Bay just not finding a woman. You know, looking ahead for both teams of Green Bay, their next game after this will be on Sunday when they take on the Dutch Lions. They'll be the first of two back-to-back -back fixtures with them before facing off against Racine Kenosha. Meanwhile, for Chicago City, after today, they'll be playing right here on Sunday at 3 p.m. against Bavaria United before having another home game. Oh, excuse me, against Rochester on Sunday, followed by Bavaria United during the middle of the week. So it's the first of the second of a four-game homestand for Chicago City for the women. Rochester and Chicago, who do you have there? Uh, Chicago, Rochester this year has struggle is a very friendly word to describe Rochester this year. You look at so far how they played this year. They have not gotten a point yet. They've played seven games, all Ooh, seven. Tough tackle. Sorry to interrupt you, Raphael. No worries. All seven in defeat. They have been outscored 19 to three. They have conceded a lot of goals this year to put it very kindly. So. Suddenly, could be a, a really good opportunity for a lot of players in Chicago City to get a goal. Stumba brings that one in. And this could be a final attack opportunity for Green Bay. Trying to go out on a high note. Broken up by Chicago at midfield. Still at midfield. Banky looks to recollect. Stolen out of the pocket by Dysak. Green Bay ball. So 
many times. Kircher, look at the athleticism to strip the ball away. Opportunity falls short. Kircher has had an amazing day for Green Bay. The second half substitution coming on and making a difference, giving more opportunities for her team. Unfortunately, just not enough of those opportunities, wouldn't you say, Rafael? Yeah, it's kind of been the theme all day for Green Bay. Just not much as the full-time whistle has sounded and Chicago City uh, victorious by a final score of 2 to nothing. And with three sweet whistles, Chicago looks ahead to Rochester after a 2-0 victory over Green Bay, further cementing themselves at second place. A beautiful trio of points there on the schedule. And we'll have the post-game show coming your way just shortly here. Signing off for the play-by-play -play on Sports Broadcast Solutions on the behalf of all of us here, both Sam, sorry, pardon me, Sarah, Kyle on the stat crew and live replay, Rafael Gonzalez here joining me, and myself, Grant Harrison. Signing off, we'll see you next time here on Sports Broadcast Solutions. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede! We have professional videographers using high-definition modern-day cameras, color analysts and play-by-play -play announcers with state-of-the-art, classy graphical scoreboards to keep you updated. Plus, we have commercials to advertise your team, club, or sponsor, and us. Plus, we do pre-game and post-game interviews. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the post-game show brought to you by Marion Central Catholic. My name's Kyle Smith, but my name doesn't matter. These young ladies matter. It's senior night as the Hurricanes win a battle down the stretch, 48 to 46. Hi, I'm Carrie Kramer. Um, I swim 50 breast, uh, 50 free, and 100 back. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Instead of spending hundreds or thousands with all these college recruiting sites, let us put together your college highlight reel. For just a fraction of your potential college scholarship and significantly less than these recruiting services, we got this. In addition, we put together highlight reels for teams, including high school, your club team, or travel team. Well, my teammate gave me a great pass, and I just took it 
The other team slashed me, took the opportunity, saw where the goalie was weak, and I just shot it there. Solon, O'Connor, and Marsh back on defense, and Marsh gets a blowout. We got a breakaway, a 2 on 0. A shot, and his goal! So, 3 to 3. The power play was officially over. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you who would like to broadcast or live stream your event, or maybe make a highlight tape, but would like a sponsor to fund the event, SBS has a myriad of ways to advertise your sponsor during our broadcasts. We have commercials. We have on-air reads by the announcers. Albatross Physical Therapy and Wellness specializes in pain-free. We have graphics, and we have watermarks. Finally, Sports Broadcast Solutions can create a commercial for you or your sponsor. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. For those of you that just want raw footage of your sporting event, but no play-by-play -play or color commentary, you just need us to live stream video from the event over the internet. We will live stream your event on YouTube on our Sports Broadcast Solutions channel. In addition, we also have a dedicated channel on YouTube for live streaming at SBS Livestream. And if you need multiple channels, we can utilize Facebook Livestream and Instagram Live on our channel as well. Options include commercials from your sponsors, professional scoreboard graphics are still available, and of course, yes, pre- and post-game interviews are available as an option if you want. We've been working really hard this whole summer and stuff. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, we are at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Check us out and become part of the digital sporting world. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. We broadcast sporting events for people of all ages, including adult leagues, high school leagues, and kids. Complete with professional-looking graphics, broadcasters, color analysis, and commercials. We do pre- and post-game interviews with the players. In addition, Sports Broadcast Solutions does highlight films, including college recruiting reels, highlight films you'd see on sports news programs, and just simply highlight films for fun. Sports Broadcast Solutions also provides raw footage and live streams if you'd like. Subscribe to us and listen to our professional talk videos about relevant topics in the pro and college ranks. Whatever your sports broadcast needs, contact us at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital world. This is Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Check us out at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com and become part of the digital sporting world.
Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. SBS offers live telecasts on channel 59.3, YouTube, or Twitch. We include pre- and post-game interviews with the players. You know, I started in the locker room. All the boys were getting going before the game and stuff, and uh, we kind of found a little click at the beginning of the game, so... I think that's what got us going. We also include digital live statistics, play-by-play -play commentary, team highlight reels, and even more than that. Go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com or search Sports Broadcast Solutions on YouTube. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. At SBS, we offer a professional broadcasting experience for the non-professional athlete. Just like the pros, we offer everything for you. Play-by-play -play commentary. A no-hitter at Kane County Stadium. 15 strikeouts, one walk, one air, and that's it. Color commentary, highlight reels, recruiting videos, and much, much more. Unlike our competitors, we zoom in on the action and always have a live scoreboard with a live time code. If you're ready to have your next sporting event feel like CBS Sports, then make sure to call Sports Broadcast Solutions today. Our phone number is 330-957-7653, or you can go online to sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. SBS, a broadcasting network for everyone. Missing your child's sporting event just plain stinks. But you don't have to worry about that anymore, thanks to Sports Broadcast Solutions. SBS is a live broadcasting network, as well as covering your on-demand needs, recruiting videos, highlight reels, and much, much more. We can broadcast live to any website, and we also post as much on-demand content as you need. For more information about SBS, check out our website at sportsbroadcastsolutions.com. Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. Sports Broadcast Solutions is a broadcasting network for everyone. Let SBS broadcast your sporting event. We have experience and can generate excitement and permanent digital memories for your team. Tonight. That time, finally a goal for the Stampede. We have professional videographers using... Welcome to the post game show brought to you by Sports Broadcast Solutions, a broadcasting network for everyone. I'm Kyle Smith, but I don't matter. This young lady matters. Kennedy Burschel, the SBS woman of the match, a 2 0 win uh, for Chicago City SC over Green Bay Glory. Big time win. Did you know that you guys outscored them 23 to 6? No, I was not aware. We felt very confident, though, going into the game. Felt like we had majority of the possession, so I'm not surprised by that stat. Big time win for you guys. What is it about this pitch that makes it so tough for teams, even Minnesota Aurora, that went to the championship match last season? You guys almost beat them last week. You know, I think coming to Chicago is an intimidating place to be. You know, we pack a punch behind everything we do. We go with intensity. We play quick, technical, and we just bring it on this pitch. It's hard for people to come out and play in our home field. You think it's also interesting? It's a rugby pitch and they're playing soccer on us? I do find that pretty interesting. However, that just helps us foster the intensity that you would get with rugby, but in soccer, cleanly, of course. <laughs> 2 nothing win. Awesome move to go from the outside to the end. What have you been working on in practice to get the defender go one way and then you go inside for the shot on goal? Well, every morning we're always up and at it. Um, like I said, high-intensity practice. We foster a really competitive environment. And recently we've been working on both sides of the ball individually defending. Uh, be confident, go at him 1v1 just like we've been doing, and put it away. Lauren Kaiser, Molly Vipensky, it doesn't matter who's between the pipes. It's usually a clean sheet or you're only giving up one goal. What does each goaltender do so well for you guys? Um, everybody goes out there and does their job. Our coaches draft a great game plan each game. Um, I know my keepers have my back, keeping the ball out of the net, so we're just doing our job to put it in for us. What does Lauren say when she gets a clean sheet like this? <laughs> uh, she's one of little words. She just, it's just, you could tell in her. She's fierce the whole game and just a smile on her face and she knows what to expect from us. Humongous win for you guys. Final thoughts about the win as you guys creep closer to getting a wild card spot for the playoffs. You know, we can celebrate tonight, but tomorrow, um, next game's just on our minds. So we're going to get right back to work. That's Kennedy Burchill, and that does it for our postgame show. So for our excellent crew, for Rafael Gonzalez, Antonio, and Grant Harrison, I'm Kyle Smith signing off. A 2-0 win for Chicago City SC, and we'll see you in a couple of days from now.